Hey everybody and thanks for tuning in to A Sound Voice Live. I'm Regina Howard, one half of the sweethearts of the industry, but we're right here on the campus of Spelman College for the who's who's in entertainment and business along with the alumni voices. That's right, we're going to bring you some cutting edge interviews from some celebrities that have walked right through the halls of this school in Southwest Atlanta. So we want you to stay tuned, sit back and relax because we've got something great in store for you. I'm here with some board directors and some very, very important dignitaries, and we're going to allow them to introduce themselves to you, and then we'll tell you what's going on tonight. Hello, Ted Aronson, member of the board. Yvonne Jackson, chair of the board, and Spelman alum. Beverly Daniel Tatum, president of Spelman College. My name is Frank Blake. I'm the chairman and CEO of the Home Depot and uh, co-chairing the uh, campaign for Spelman College. Hi, I'm Stuart Bergdorfer from Columbus, Ohio. I'm a member of the Board of Trustees and work with Limited Brands. We are so excited this evening because we are about to launch publicly the campaign for Spelman College, a campaign that will be the largest fundraising effort in our history. Yes. Our goal of $150 million is expected to transform educational opportunities for young women who deserve a Spelman College education but don't have the resources necessarily to be here and to provide world-class opportunities for them as they move through their college experience. Wow. Wow. Well, the reason that they're here tonight is a phenomenal reason. They want to help your children possibly continue their education here at Spelman College. Thank you all so much for your time, and we wish you much success. Thank you. I'm here with Miss Latanya Richardson, and we are, she's an alumni yes, of Spelman College, and we're here with the kickoff of the campaign for Spelman. How do you feel about being here back at your school helping them with this kickoff? You know, we're all excited about being here uh, today to start the next capital campaign. It's real important that we support our schools, that we support historically black colleges. And in particular, it's important that we support Spelman. Spelman has been at the forefront of a lot of issues in terms of women that, have, that deal with women. There was a long time when women's issues, women's, especially when in regards to health, our uh, public images were not even thought of. No, we were not on the world's radar. And Spelman has helped to keep the idea of who we are, the nuances of our lives, alive. It's important that we continue to do that. We educate a number of women who are head of big corporations. I'm going to start naming them. And that's important as well. When you start to think of all of the women in the world who are doing things, nine times out of ten, that woman went to Spelman. So, I'm here to support that. Okay, well, we're glad that you came, and we hope that everybody, and we really do pray, that everybody will take a part in trying to help keep our historically black colleges alive. And with the $150 million goal that they have set, somebody that couldn't go to school may have the opportunity to go to school. Thank you for all that you have done for setting a pathway for the young women to come. We certainly appreciate you and your craft. I want you to know I got blessed, so I'm here to be a blessing because I got And I have the honor and the privilege of speaking to one of my favorite triple threats. That's right, singer, dancer, and actor, Jasmine Guy. Welcome to this event tonight, kicking off the campaign for Spelman. How do you feel about that? I love Spelman College, Morehouse, and the Atlanta University Center. And even though I didn't go here, I grew up here. My father taught at Morehouse College, and I went to the Spelman Dance School when I was a little girl. And I got a lot of my education in the arts and in culture here, going to glee club concerts, studying acting and dance here at the school. And it's important that we remember that we have to reach back. And they need money, they need financing to continue to grow and to, con to continue to compete in today's market. And I think it's important that we just bring as much awareness to the black colleges as possible. And Spelman's done great thing. It has a tremendous legacy. And when you look at the history, it's very exciting. Well, it's great that they're also trying to do something to help 
young women that might not be able to go to college. And so with their goal of 150 million, I believe that they'll be able to do that. I myself am an alumni of the Atlanta University Center from Clark and a, an avid fan. Tell us what's coming for, for Jasmine Guy. Well, this summer I directed a production of For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough. <laughs> and I am taking that on the road. I would like to bring it to D.C., the Lincoln Theater there, the Apollo Theater in New York. Philly. I mean, I want to do what I did here in Atlanta all over the country. You know, it was a wonderful production with fantastic actors and I'm, I'm excited. So that's what I'm doing this summer and um, actually I'm, I'm directing a play here at Spelman in the spring called The Bluest Eye, which is based on the novel by Toni Morrison. Okay, great. So great. I'll be working with the students. Great. Well, I'm not going to keep you because it is a lot of excitement around here and everybody wants to get to everybody, but I know you have to get ready for your reading. So we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule here for this kickoff for the campaign for Sound Voice Live. We certainly appreciate you and we wish you the absolute best. We got to keep the word out for our black colleges. Yes, yes we do. All right. You heard it first right here from Jasmine Guy. And we're here with some absolutely wonderful alumni from Spelman College and we're talking to some alumni voices tonight. And my favorite, Tanika Ray. And you know her from Extra on the weekends. You know, when she gets up there, she just gives her style thing <laughs> and just have it going on. Well, now I got her on the other side of the mic. Right. And we're going to work it out tonight. What's going on, Tanika? I'm going to be okay. You going to be nice to me? I'm going to be nice okay. to you, girl. <laughs> Everything is fantastic. What an amazing event. You know, when I went to Spelman years ago, first of all, this building didn't exist. And as big as this is and as, as, as fresh as this is in everybody's minds and hearts, it didn't ex really exist yet. I mean, Different World was on. It's so funny that we're doing this event tonight with Jasmine Guy because that was appointment television and that made us feel so cool we went to Spelman. So for us to be here tonight and to read this book from Debbie Roundtree Johnson, a woman who is 93 years old, who rocked the foundation, had everything going against her and she made it. It's just reconfirming that as black women and when you come to Spelman and you really feel what it's like to be a woman that can succeed, you can do anything. Yes. And I it's funny that you say that I'm a woman from Extra because I left a month ago. Did you? I left Extra a month ago because inertia is dangerous and I really wanted to spread my wings and I was there for five years and wherever you are when you start getting complacent and you start feeling like you're not being challenged in the right way and you start getting a little bit bored it's time to move on and who taught me that was Spellman. Because you see there's obstacles. Everyone has obstacles and challenges. And life is going to throw you curveballs at every turn. Right. But if you can just know yourself through and through, and you know that you're talented, you know that you're intelligent, you know that you've got your base, which is your education, you can do anything. So for me to be, I mean, I literally left a month ago. So to be here tonight feels like the universe put me here. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to look at that camera and tell some young woman that is desiring to go to college but they have an obstacle their mother is gone or maybe their father is gone but they don't have to look at that tell them what they can do encourage them to go forward the thing that's so amazing about challenges is that we all have them regardless of if you've got personal issues with your family you've got financial issues if you are centered here you can do anything and here's the thing, we've all got our different challenges, but if you decide to put yourself in a box and you decide to give power to those challenges, you're done. You have to just know who you are and no matter what, you will go through that hurdle and you will make it. You can do it. The only person that's going to stop you is yourself. How bad do you want it? I wanted it bad, girl. <laughs> I am still want it more <laughs> and more and more and more. <laughs> There you have it from Tanika Ray in, in, in her, her full self, her being relaxed, her being out of her box and, and back where she got her, some of her roots right here at Spelman College. Thank you so much for tuning in to A Sound Voice Live tonight. We've had a wonderful time here at Spelman College, right here on this historical campus where we've been able to bring you nothing but the best in interviews coming from some phenomenal people and their groups. Where? On this campus, a historical site that you might want to share with your children, your nieces or your nephews. Just tell them that, yes, good things come out of the southwest side of Atlanta here on the AU campus. So, 
keep your eyes open because as always we're going to bring you some wonderful cutting edge interviews and awesome shows so stay tuned but remember as always it's not about us but it's about God and it's about motivating encouraging and uplifting you thanks for tuning in